The Forex market never sleeps and neither do I. So let's see what today's charts have to show us. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Nick and I'm a top author on TradingView with over 260K reputation points. And every day I share a lot of free education and analysis for all of you. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the charts. In today's video, I want to speak about GBP CHF. Why do I want to do that? Because at the moment we have quite interesting price action and structure. So what I will be doing is, as usual, providing a complete multi-time frame top-down analysis. First, I will be covering the technical aspect that we have on it. We will then go and see what we have from in order flow perspective. So commitment of traders, which is what hedge funds and the non-commercials in the market are doing. And by the end of the video, by using the combination of these different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for a potential move here on the pair. Now, starting from the monthly time frame, what we can see here is that the market has just created this M pattern. Now, in general, after the creation of an M pattern, what you want to see is the market create a move to the upside to go and complete the pattern at the previous support turned resistance. And we can see in fact how the market has already started that move. However, the completion of the pattern, which is the neckline, which is exactly that previous support and resistance, as we have just said, it is a strong resistance level. So if the market will actually complete the pattern, we can then expect the market to get rejected to the downside, meaning that what we expect here is short term strength and then longer term weakness. Dropping down on the weekly time frame, what do we have? Now here in the weekly time frame, we have quite interesting structure and also quite interesting pattern. In fact, we can see how we have also here in the weekly time frame created in M pattern. And the market has now also started the completion of the pattern. And it is currently testing the previous weekly support, which was support here and again support here, which not the market has broken into the downside is turned resistance here. We also have an impulse and a correction. And in general, after an impulse, if you want to measure the correction, you have to take your Fibonacci from the low to the, sorry, from the high to the low of the impulse. And if we do that, we can see how we currently are testing that zone, which is in between the 0.32 and 50% of the Fibonacci taken on this weekly impulse, which is a quite strong supply and resistance zone that we do expect as market to reject to the downside. Just a quick thing, make sure that you like, subscribe and let me know in the comments below any suggestion for new videos. If we go and see what we have from a COT perspective, so commitment of traders, which is basically what hedge funds and the non-commercials in the market are doing, we can see how lately on the pound, hedge funds have been increasing their net positions. We went from having a negative minus 20K net positions up to having 15K net positions in the positive side However, we can also see how even though in the long term, we definitely expect the pound to get stronger, we are seeing after three reports in which we got thousands of shorts getting closed, this is the first time we see 5.2k shorts getting opened, meaning that we can expect short term weakness of the pound. And if we go and see what we have when it comes to the CHF, we can see how the CHF is getting extremely weak with minus 20k in net positions. And we have seen that on the monthly time frame with a GBP CHF creating the move to the upside to complete the M pattern because of the GBP strength and CHF weakness. However, also here, what we are seeing is for the first time, the lungs that are starting to get added. So once again, short term strength of the CHF and short term weakness of the GBP could definitely lead to a rejection to the downside before then we get the continuation. Now, if we drop down on the daily time frame, what do we see now? Here in the daily, we can see how the market has just created this W formation. Now, in general, after the creation of a W, you want to see the market create a move to the downside to go and complete the pattern at the previous resistance turn support. So if the market here will first create a continuation to the upside and then make the move down, we could definitely be looking for this potential short term rejection to the downside and completion at the neckline. 
But the way in which we will be approaching this with students is as usual being reactive and not productive. The monthly, weekly, and daily combined with the CO2 data, those are the best timeframes from a directional perspective. However, when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best timeframes are the intraday timeframes, so for our and lower. Therefore, with students, what we will be doing is monitoring price action from an intraday perspective during this move to the upside, waiting for the market to shift from an intraday bullish market as we have right now to an intraday bearish market. And only if the market will shift from an intraday bullish to an intraday bearish market, only at that point we will be adding GBPCHF to our watch list. And as soon as the market will provide to us one of our valid entries, we will be looking for a potential short with a good risk to reward and good probabilities at that point for the move to the downside and for the market to complete this W formation at the neckline, which is this previous resistance turned support here from a daily perspective. If you enjoyed the video, make sure that you smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free analysis, education, and updates for all of you. You can also go and check out the mentorship program. The link is in the description. It's a very complete program. You first get all the rules of my rule-based strategies. Then you get a new daily market breakdown every single day showing you how to apply these strategies in real-time market. And you also get all your questions answered every single day in the daily Q&A session. So it's a very complete program. I suggest that you go and check it out. The link is in the description and I will see you in it.